And 25 years after the quake, are we still on shaky ground? Rescue operations, building construction, and relief efforts have all changed because of that quake. Action News reporter Phil Gomez looks back at the lessons learned. It's been 25 years since the Loma Prieta earthquake shook Santa Cruz County. Scientists have vastly improved the instrumentation that detects earthquakes, measures their intensity, and can even guide first responders to the worst hit locations. The GPS systems available then were not as advanced as they are today. Right now, basically, we certainly can record, you know, as you mentioned with GPS, um, ground motions and areas that are actually locked and accumulating strain. Um, you know, we can look at precursory earthquake activity, foreshocks, or, you know, so we, we still use, you know, seismic instrumentation, you know, GPS is newer, certainly um, it was a very preliminary stage at the, and during the Loma Prieta earthquake. Um, so I think our technology has advanced. Scientists predict a devastating earthquake will strike somewhere in the Bay Area in the next 30 years, but they can't pin down where or exactly when. It's still the difficult thing is the when. I think they, you know, by the, the, looking at the GPS data and the seismic, I think people knew kind of where the slip was going to happen, but, you know, mm -hmm. but when, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they were, they were accurate in, to the degree that we talk about, you know, 20 to 30 years, but, you know, not on the time scale that people would like us to, like seismologists to be able to <laughs> predict. All the way from San Francisco all the way down here. The Loma Prieta quake killed six people in Santa Cruz County, three of them along Pacific Avenue. The city's infrastructure ripped apart. Twenty-nine buildings were destroyed downtown, along with 206 businesses which had to close their doors. Damage throughout the city was estimated at $250 million. Santa Cruz City Manager Dick Wilson, now retired, said the community faced a huge task. The main message was that the local government needs to be uh, exercise a lot of leadership. You need to take charge and you need to point the direction and then there's a place where you have to let go and let others respond. You have to get these calls right. You can, if you make huge mistakes it all goes wrong. You have to get the big things right. You have to limit your errors to small and medium things. We made hundreds of small and medium sized mistakes but we got the big things right. And that's as good as you can do. 25 years later, the freeways and bridges that collapsed have been rebuilt to stand up to a quake even more powerful than the 6.9 magnitude of Loma Prieta. Engineers have learned more about seismic activity, which has resulted in stricter guidelines for rebuilding safer structures. Barry Swenson helped rebuild 22 buildings in downtown Santa Cruz at a cost of $80 million. When we did it, the codes, what we put in was 100% better or 200% better what was here, and now you'd have to be maybe 300% better. But, and that would make it more expensive even now. The historic St. George Hotel was originally built in 1880 and burned to the ground in an 1894 fire. It was rebuilt and then destroyed again a century later in the 1989 quake. Barry Swenson rebuilt it from the ground up, and it remains one of the iconic buildings downtown. All the earthquakes we learned at the catastrophic failures of the building, and then Engineers go back and they analyze that and they figure out what the fails are and we take that knowledge and then we, we work on the next product so it's, buildings are always evolving. First responders explain that when a disaster hits, their priorities are in the areas that are damaged the most severely. The Red Cross played a major role in the aftermath of the earthquake as well. They stress that residents should have a plan for disaster readiness in place. I think with each disaster we become better informed, better prepared to deal with the needs of the community. Um, I think we're, you know, we're way ahead. Um, I think we're, um, we're getting a lot of the community prepared, and it's a constant. There's no question the city is flourishing decades after the quake, but it's not quite finished. There's still that one spot that Jesse Nickel calls the one tooth missing in the mouth of downtown. An undeveloped reminder of Loma Prieta. It's where the coffee roasting company and Bookshop Santa Cruz once stood. Yeah, we're not done yet. Still one of the key pieces of property, one of the most important pieces of property is still vacant. We're not done yet. In Santa Cruz, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8.